In this second episode of Working with Apps, I'm going to show you how I use Keynote. Hello and welcome to the second episode of Working With Apps. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I'm going to show you how I use Keynote. Now Keynote has been around probably I think since 2002 and from the very first day it was launched I went out and bought the DVD and I bought the iWorks suite. I had a uh, I can't remember if it's called Pages in its first early days, but Pages, Numbers and Keynote. Now they didn't all come out at the same time and if I remember correctly, Keynote I think was the second one, Pages was the first and Numbers was the third. But ever since it came out, I have been using Keynote. I love Keynote. In fact, I realise that almost every day I use Keynote and I use it not just for presenting. Uh, part of one of my main jobs is I'm teaching, I do lots of lectures, I do lots of presentations and I do workshops. Without Keynote, I would be completely lost because if I'm being perfectly honest, first of all, I don't understand PowerPoint. It's way too feature rich for me. Secondly, I just hate it because of the way that moving images around in Keynote in, in PowerPoint, just I just hate the way it does it. So <clears throat> Keynote for me is the ultimate presentation tool. And I know many of you out there will disagree with me on that, but just take it from me. I've been using it for well over 10 years now and I would be completely lost without Keynote. So I'm gonna show you today how I use Keynote simply because you're gonna be quite surprised about some of the ways I do use Keynote because to me it's just a fantastic tool. It can do so many things. I Okay, I'm gonna give you the secret now. I not only prepare presentations, workshops and lectures in Keynote, but I also use it for design and for sketching out ideas. I also create PDF workbooks in Keynote. There are so many things that you can do with Keynote and I'm going to show you just a few of the things that I use it today because if I showed you all the things I use Keynote for, we'd be here all day and you don't have that time and I don't have that time. Before we go any further, let me just ask, if you like this video, please click on the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to the channel. Okay, let's get into Keynote and I'll show you how I use it. Okay, so first off, I'm going to show you, of course, the uh, a typical presentation. Of course, like most people, of course, I do a typical presentation in my keynote file absolutely no problem and i should explain that one of the reasons why i particularly love keynote is simply because i can do something like this so i can actually put in an image of rag and bone man by the way if you don't know who rag and bone man is i strongly recommend you go out there and find out and then what i would do is i can actually place a video so placing the image in evernote in to keynote is so easy you just drag and drop the the image into the keynote file and boom it's simple this is one of the reasons why i don't like powerpoint because it shows the line moving and it doesn't show the image moving in real time not the version of powerpoint that i have and again with video i can just drag and drop video into the file so i have the the rag and bone man video i can do the actual um testing of it straight in here by the way here you go you get a few a few seconds to listen to it just unbelievable singer by the way guys rag and bone man go out there have a listen the guy is amazing so anyway that's basically how i can set up it supports international language so i've got nunchi boya for all of you korean reasons out there it is a stupid thing by the way and i can put in so many different things so this is a typical um typical powerpoint uh, sorry presentation file that i would create this is for a lecture that i've done okay now other ways that i use it i use it for designing my online courses so here you can see that i've been playing this is actually the the, the way that my recent time and life mastery course because this was the 
the original uh, picture that I used. Uh, I wasn't particularly happy with that. Uh, I can move that up there. I can play around with it to get it exactly how I want to do it. These were another way, another slide that I used to look at to play to see you know how I would look. I it was then getting a little bit closer to the final design where I had here with a clock and time and life mastery. Then I got the, the, the text and this is just normal text files. As you can see, there's nothing, no illustrator, nothing has been used at this stage. And eventually I got to the final logo by using the, these image, these uh, icons here. And basically, this is where it does. But because of the simplicity of the way that Keynote works, I just found it so easy or find it so easy to go in and just play around with ideas. Again, this is my supercharge your productivity. This is a, a new, the course I'm, I'm in the process of updating at the moment. And that should go live, by the way, early next week, maybe, or maybe next the week after next. But I've just, again, just been playing around with uh, the the logo because it never really had a logo. And I, again, it's just playing around. If you look at this, I've actually grouped that together, but I can go into my uh, arrange. I can ungroup it. And you can see that this is actually uh, different parts altogether that I can actually just bring it, uh, just playing around with ideas um, to get my various... Uh, logos and, and designs work come together. Another one that I did is I actually produced a whole book. This was actually a draft copy of the business creativity book that I wrote uh, last year and finalized this year. Now, the finished version was eventually done in um, InDesign, but I did all the original copy for the book was all done through um, Kino. I put everything in Kino. And as I can say, this is not a stripped down PDF file. As you can see, these are actual elements within the book. So I actually put all together. I put a, I think if we go down to the bottom, this is a hundred, a hundred page textbook that I created in keynote and it really was quite simple and again i can create i've also created my workbooks in here so this was a pdf uh, workbook and uh, summary sorry of a course that we do uh, in the company this was actually from a couple of years old because the text is a bit old now i don't use that type of font but i've actually created all my um work uh, outlines for courses are all placed in here and this is what we use on a daily basis when we're out there with our clients we can just export that very simply, export tool, PDF, PowerPoint, QuickTime, HTML images, and Kino 09. Such an easy way of actually using an application. Now, this is this particular video is not about how to use Keynote, it's just how I use Keynote, but through my FES company, or maybe through myself, I'm not sure yet, uh, we will be recording a how to a beginner's guide to using Keynote and I will be going through that in the next few weeks. I will tell you guys about it as and when it is launched. But there you go. Those are just one, two, three, four and five ways that I use Keynote. As I say, it's open every single day. I should actually show you just one more way that I use Keynote. Um, I'm going to go into here because I actually want to go into my keynote. The, for those of you guys who follow me on Instagram, um, what you'll know is that every Monday to Friday, I post some form of um, positive uh, quotation. And here is basically how I do this. I do it all in Keynote because I could do it in Photoshop. It would work very well in, Key in Photoshop. But I find that again, once again, Keynote is just so much simpler, so much easier to do. And all I have to do is just cut out the square and then save it as a screenshot. It's really, really easy. So there you go. There's just another way that I use uh, Keynote is all my... Uh, quotations that I post to Instagram and through my Facebook page, all of those are actually done through Keynote. Okay, hopefully this has given you some amazing ideas of how you can use Keynote. Thank you very much for watching this episode. I wish you all now a very, very productive week.